suppose you are working in a multinational bank over here you have been given this kind of data this is called wide format of the data now you see because the bank is multinational it has its product portfolio by each of the country and there are three products where the data is available and those three products are loans mortgage and cards so in japan the loans portfolio is this much in japan mortgage portfolio is this much etc etc now if i ask you to give me average average for each of the pro product portfolio irrespective of the country means in total what is the average portfolio size for loans what is the average portfolio size for mortgage so i what i mean is i would like to have this summary something like this and this kind of summary making this kind of summary using this wide format data could turn out to be a little tricky right so what is the solution how can you use this data to make this kind of summary for that you would require to first use this wide format data convert that into this long format so what you see over here countries are getting repeated if you see japan usa european union mexico france again the same thing is getting repeated for each of these three products loans mortgages and cards so whatever you had as column name that you can see over here as rows as value in rows right and their values are being printed just next to them so this is called long format of the data once you are done converting from wide format to long format in this format it becomes very simple for you to just run a pivot on the long format data and get the summary in the way it was expected now the question is how to do this how to convert from wide format to long format right well for that we're going to use mailed now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and help you understand how can you do that so here we are in jupyter notebook here we have the bank data and it is very simple to convert it from wide format to long format so you can just do it in one minute for example this is the data here you want to say pd pd is i'm assuming that you have basic understanding of the pandas right so pd is nothing but the pandas data frame which i have imported over here now i'll, I'll again take you back over here pd dot you're gonna say melt and over here you need to supply the data frame name which is bank and you need to use the parameter which is called id vars and into that you put the id column which is country for me right so this is the id column for me and that is it now you hit enter and this is what you get you see the data is converted into the long form hang on now let's try to convert this i mean let's try to get this summary the uh, the kind of summary we were looking for right so this we have converted now i need to put this in a separate data frame which is called df let's put store that in df data frame and over here i will come and i would use pivot the usual way we do it pivot table and over here i'm just going to say index equals to what is the index that we want to use we want to use products so products are stored in variables right this is what called the variables all right and then over here the values on which we want to do the aggregation that is stored in value over here right so this is exactly what i want to take over here and then the kind of aggregation which i want to do is this mean okay and now here we go here we got that kind of summary which we wanted now if you are concerned about this structure you can just say reset index and that's it you got it over here now hang on if you have understood this still wait for a minute now there is another thing which i am going to tell you for example you see over here it says variable it says value this does not look good right so you might like to give a name over here for example here you would like to say product here you would like to say you know revenue etc so how can we do that so just come to this function and hit shift tab when you do shift tab this is what you get now you can see over here here it says frame means you need to supply the data frame name which we did then it says id var so id var we already supplied then it says value vars and var name so for two things it is asking value var what is the name that you want to give for value var and what is the name that you want to give for var name so let's start for var name hmm? here i'm going to say var name equals to products and then here i'm going to say value name 
var value var all right let me just i'm kind of you know missing that getting confused with that right var name i need to say var name and let's say revenue oops there seem to be some problem not a var name what i need to use over here is value name you we got it over here right you see now this looks pretty cool country product revenue and in the pivot you can also change that over here value you can say revenue the name which we just changed and in the variable you can say product and this is what you get looks like i made a spelling error here we need to say products let's come down here 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 oops this is such a long you know error now here is what you get all right so this is how you can convert a wide format data to a long format data using melt so this is it in this video let me know into the comment section if it was helpful for you or not if you liked it give a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it thanks once again